I want to give you my first impressions for this game. It's called The Last Ori Crew. And it's an indie game. Uh, so, you know, low budget. It has a lot of rough edges. <laughs> but it's looking sharp, which is something that I, I am always looking for. I cannot understand how big budget titles are so blurry. Look at this, I, and, I, and I'm always complaining about that, but look at this. Look at this building. The texture of this building is so sharp. It looks sharp. And the impression of the game, because of that, is very good. Most of the, of the game looks sharp. And I am using a 4K DLSS, and the resolution of the game, the anti-aliasing of the game in low. Because the game has a uh, forced TAA, unfortunately. But it's looking good. It's looking sharp. And for the most part, the game is running very well. Uh, I'm getting like 100 frames average. So the game feels responsive. Now, it's an indie, de it's an indie uh, developer. And it has a lot of rough edges. The game stutters when you enter a new area. The animations are... <laughs> are not you know are rough the animations are rough but what you do here is you have a shield you can parry you can uh, attack hard attack and, and softer and you can dodge if you press two times you dodge so what i don't like mainly is the camera the camera feels uh, janky uh, it feels janky because yeah I, sometimes it feels too close to the character and the speed is i don't know there's it, it something with the camera work that is is rough but it works it works I, I i can i can play it like this and you know i like this kind of you know dark souls games and when you enter to fight like a boss i i still haven't you know beat any boss or anything but it has the same animation as Dark Souls 3, when you're going to enter an arena to fight uh, somebody. It has that, that same vibe. So here, also I see that they're taking advantage of the environment. Because here, for example, you cannot dodge because you're going to fall into the water. So the game has good ideas. So at the beginning of the game, you have some r rats. You see that... There are humans and there are rats and other fictitious uh, characters. And you see that the rats are slaves. So it's a, it's a good idea, actually. I, I think they have some good ideas on this game. Uh, but yeah, the camera feels too close. So I, I, it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult. And of course, we're going to see some low resolution textures like this. It's an indie game. This is a very low resolution texture in comparison with everything else which, which looks very very sharp and yeah we're gonna see some rough things but uh give it a try give it a try the re the game is running very well on my system uh especially with the lss and i think it is um it is worth trying so, especially if you like Dark Souls uh, games. And what I'm using here on this LG C1, I'm using a trick for the HDR. The game doesn't support HDR, but I'm using that SDR, HDR slider on Windows, maxing that out, forcing limited range on the TV, full on the GPU, forcing limited on the TV, and lowering fine-tuned dark areas to minus 16 using HGIG. And the game looks on HDR fantastic uh, I mean the effect is just beautiful so you see the darkness here is perfectly visible and then the things that are uh, bright they pop very nicely very very nicely especially the uh, the shrine you know the same uh, you know on Dark Souls you save on a, on a specific uh, bonfire. <laughs> the bonfire of this game is beautiful. It's very bright. And on a, with this HDR trick, it looks fantastic. You will see it if you play the game. It's absolutely fantastic. So here with this guy, we cannot talk. So you see, the camera here on the inside, it's a little bit too too close. It feel, it, something doesn't feel right about the camera here. 
but that's okay I mean I'm not going to condemn them it's an indie developer and I think that the presentation is good because it is sharp and the game is running fast it's running at 100 frames uh, most of the time on the interior at 120 and yeah I'm liking it so I'm first going to take out this this guy first <laughs> Oh, I'm like slow because of the fire, it seems. Ooh. <laughs> I'm slow for some reason. The, the fire slow you down or something. It was too slow. But yeah, you have to... You can recover here with a potion. And yeah, the game is looking fantastic with this HDR trick here. For example, let me turn off the light. So you see here the darkness. Look at this. You see how great this trick is. The, sh the visibility on the darkness is just absolutely perfect. And then you see the light sources, the fire, everything is popping, but you can see everything. This is just fantastic HDR. <laughs> the, what we are achieving here with this trick. It's just amazing. So yeah, I like to play this uh, this kind of games, uh, indie developers, because they have sometimes they have very cool ideas, uh, and I am willing to accept the the defects that the game have, especially if it's running well. The voice. <laughs> the other thing is the voice actors <laughs> are. Probably the same programmers because man, they are really rough. The voice actors are are not professionals. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm not saying they are unprofessional, but are probably their first time or something. <laughs> Especially the main character. Yeah, it's it's rough. Let's see if we fight this uh, big spider here or scorpion, something like that. No, we were kicked out of there. What happened? Okay, there's only one way. I love the darkness with this HDR SDR trick. I love the darkness. So we are back to where we come from. I cannot progress. Okay. See, this is awesome. You know, this fire popping on the darkness is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing HDR effect. It looks beautiful. Yeah, so it seems like I cannot. Oh, yeah, I can jump and progress over here. See, it looks the camera is too too close. It's a little bit claustrophobic. It's too close. That that might be able to. We might be able to fix that with a mod. Oh, we open it, the door. It's stuttering. See, sometimes on these areas it stutters. It's running like 100 frames, 80, 70, 100. So it's a stuttering on this. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to die here. It's too, too many, too many enemies. Oh, so it's a war between humans and rats not humans these are like alien like creatures so but my enemies are they are both my enemies <laughs> so you know the combat is not it's not stellar it's not themesia level of combat but yeah I can save here so, yeah let me show you this because this is awesome look at this it might look blowing out on the recording, but this is uh, awesome, this bonfire. Yeah, 
so here you level up and all of that. So let me show you how, how it looks. Wow! <laughs> this really looks good with this HDR trick because this transparency is, is popping with details. All this interior is just amazing. I can see everything here. On the recording it might look blowing out, but this really looks spectacular here with this HDR trick. Really amazing. So yeah, give it a try. Um, let me show you the settings, the in-game settings I have. Uh, 4K DLSS. And I am using all the graphics max out, everything but the anti-aliasing on low because the game has this forced TAA and on low looks sharper. And if we go here to the gamma settings, so you see why this HDR trick that I'm using is so amazing. It's, it, by default, it's 33%. This is the default value. So it says, adjust the brightness settings for your display until the image to the left is barely visible. And I can see it, but it is barely visible. So this is so perfect. This is why the game looks so amazing. So amazing. With this trick that I'm using, every single game looks amazing because I just nailed this trick with these settings. I just nailed it. Let me show you real quick if this is the first time you see it. We go to Game Optimizer on this LG C1. We lower fine tune dark areas to minus 16. And we come here. And you know, the explanation of why I, it took me like 25 minutes to explain this. <laughs> so, you know, we just lower that, then we force limit it on the TV. So the NVIDIA control panel is in full, okay? So we have to force limit it on the TV and max out to so turn on HDR on Windows and max out the SDR HDR slider and dynamic uh, top mapping HGIG. This is just absolutely amazing HDR for every game. It doesn't matter if they support HDR or not, it's gonna be perfect. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.